all right guys i was so excited to start this new game series red dead redemption 2 you know uh this was you know by far the best game i ever played i played this back around you know four years later so here i am you know this is a must game that need to be in my youtube library so yeah let's start this game Okay, so online and story mode. We gonna start with story mode. Oh god, I never played Red Redemption 2 on console the first. I played this on my PC, not PC. It's on my laptop. You know that was you know medium graphics if I'm remember. Because I do only have this GTX 1050 Ti 4GB graphic card. So yeah. And it's feel refreshing to play this game again because you know everybody knows this is the best game you could ever play. And yeah, since it's also been four years. I hope you know I do remember the main storyline, but we can get a more details in this game now and i'm not gonna spoil for you guys if you haven't watched this i'll try to you know play like a first time playing this game america was becoming a land of loss okay Even the West had mostly been tamed. Okay. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Okay, the government coming in and taking over this gangs. Rockstar, the best franchise. I mean, you know, the best company who created these franchise games. And I really hope that Red Dead Redemption 1 was coming to PS4 and PS5 as a remastered version, right? I just heard it. I'm not sure whether that will be, you know, coming or not, but... I forgot to mention that uh, my regular game video length is. I'm not. Abigail gonna... says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. Just... Second, guys, I feel some low volume. So I'll try to increase the volume. Oh, the volume is good. Everything is dynamic, dynamic, dynamic.
Hmm. Okay. Just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur. Any luck? There you go, my evil. I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we are searching for a town in the snow so that, you know, the group, they can, or the gang, they can find any place to call it, sir. I know it, Kolta was the area that has snowy areas in the game. As you can see, there is snow there. Okay, if we found an empty house. Are Miss Gaskell, here? get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy. Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Yeah. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Right. We need you strong. Okay. Oh, how beautiful is this? Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close, and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Oh, okay, Take it easy. 
I want to slow down, okay? Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Wait. Is that someone coming towards us? Uh, I don't see anyone. You up ahead. Who's there? Oh. Okay, that is a Mike. Hulk, Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything. Yeah, was uh, the John was the in. one. I mean, the lead him. actor on Red Dead Redemption 1. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur. Let me take the rear. You move up. God damn it. Let me take the rear. You move up. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan. I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Okay, there is it. Oh. Okay, let's head down there. This is pretty much the end of Tokyo. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Oh man. The eyes so much of snow, right? Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Yeah, he wanted me to hide in this, right? Take a car.
Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Folks. Oh. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just we just came with the weapon. There's a body in the wagon. <gasps> I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. But there is a body in there. Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Over there! Over there! Over there! Over There's another one shooting from the window. upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey oh I can take this I think we have right. everything. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Okay. I can need this to get some help. Yep. Invader. Dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't want us to split up. Uh, that's a, I'm going that's to start complete. packing the horses. You keep looking. Bastard was married to. That's it, right? 
Oh, who do I have upstairs? Okay, what do we have in there? I think that's it. stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what That's we so got. Sure. here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh Oh, there is a horse in there. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go. That's my gun. What is that? Okay. 
We need to get out of here, and quick! Come on, now. Oh. You okay, Mitch? They came three days ago, and my husband, they... Okay. Mitch, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Yes, it's okay. We're bad men. We hate them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Oh, Sadie Adler. Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, Miss Sadie. Hey! Somebody's yeah, you know, coming! I don't remember her name, Sadie. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, no. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Oh, God. That's nice. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna be we're gonna stop this episode, guys, because uh He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Hey guys, I'm gonna stop this episode once the cinematic is done. I wanna keep it down to less than 30 minutes per episode because, you know, 40-45 minutes is a bit too long. For anyone to watch but i'll try to keep two videos a day so that i'll keep you covered hey i see some smoke 
Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Okay. See you all in the next episode. And then keep watching. Bye bye.